This activity is called the log hoist. So the purpose of this activity is to take that log and to get it off the ground by tying a timber hitch to the log, then throwing the rope over the log, <coughs> tying a sheet bend between that rope and the next rope, tying a square knot between that rope and the next rope, and then find a taut line, tying a, a taut line hitch around the stake that we have in the ground here. All right, finally at the very end, we do a sheep shake knot to shorten the rope to make sure that when they're done with all the knots, the log actually stays off of the ground. Okay. okay. What materials do you need to run this station? So to run this station, you need uh, quite a few things. We need a lot of, uh, a lot of rope lengths. Um, if you can see in the background there, we also have a couple of hitching posts uh, where we do the, the knot tying. That's where we let the boys practice the different knots that they're going to be doing. So we have a spot back there so they can practice the knots. Then, so we've got to have the six posts that we can lash into the ground. Um, with the materials, you've got to be able to dig the holes. So we have a post hole digger on there, some shovels to dig the holes. We need, for each one of these uh, log hoist stations, we've got to have three poles for the cross hatches. You've got to have the log to hoist, which you can get here while you're up here. Um, you've got to have a stake in the ground for the, the small stake for the very end of it. And those we share when we set up our caper toss and our chip toss. We use those same stakes that we use for those and just keep them with this one here. Um, and then, like I said, a lot of rope. A lot of rope that you cut into shorter lengths. Where can you get these materials? Um, most of the materials, the ropes you can pick up, the stakes you can pick up at a Home Depot or any other supply station like this. The posts that we have that we're using, these are posts that Jim Millar has. Um, what, what stake is Jim Millar in? I don't remember. Mesa East Stake, I believe, is where Jim Millar is. Um, but he has all of the posts for each of the log hoist stations. He has enough for three or four log, ho log hoist stations along with the, the hitch, the hitch stay, the whatever you want to call it, the knot tying stations. <laughs> Do you need any special vehicles or trailers to get your materials to camp? He brings up a trailer so he can bring all of the poles in the trailer. So yes, he will pull a trailer with the poles in it. Okay. How many staff members do you need to run this station? This station you need uh, one or two staff members helping with the, the kids tying knots. And then you need one or two staff members, one for, one for each log hoist station to judge the boys, to time them, to see who's doing it the fastest, and to make sure that they got all the knots correct. So two to five, three to five people for this station. Okay. What training do you have to give the staff to run this station? The staff needs to make sure that they're clear on the knots. So they need to know how to do a timber hitch, they need to know how to do a square knot, a sheet bend, a taut line, and a sheep shank. If they can tie those knots and they can teach those knots to other boys, that's what they need. Are there any special BSA certificates that you must run that you must have to run this station? No, no BSA certifications needed. What training do you give the boys to participate in this station? The boys that are participating, they need to learn the knots. And that's where we have our knots posts over there so they can learn the knots that they need to be successful at this station. Did you give out any awards at this station and how did you know who to award them to? We do give an award for the team that can do this uh, the fastest during the event times. We and uh, for this one, we give out just a big tub of red vines for the entire team for them to share. Okay.